not as cool in the white room. And the closeout crew is putting its rally caps on in hopes that today will be the day. Commander Mark Polanski doing a good voice check with Orbiter Test Conductor Doug Palin here in the Launch Control Center. He'll also talk with NASA Test Director and uh, the Capsule Communicator in Houston. NTD, CDR, come check. CDR, this is NTD. I have you loud and clear. Welcome back, Mark. Good afternoon, Steve. Good voice check with NASA Test Director Steve Payne. CDR, Houston, I read you loud and clear. Good afternoon, Roman. Afternoon, Dex. Looking and a good. good voice check with Capcom Alan Poindexter in Mission Control Center. Pilot uh, Doug Hurley waving as he enters in Endeavor. M OTC, OVCC. OVCC, go. TLT support, 1848. And Doug Hurley will move uh, up to the flight deck and sit to the right of Commander Mark Polanski. We see a view of uh, Doug Hurley about to climb into his seat. And once again, he's being assisted by a member of the closeout crew who also is a fellow astronaut, Steve Bowen, our astronaut support personnel today. OTC DPS. GMT and MET adjustments are complete, ready for IMU platform positioning, and that's step 638. Copy, Tuesday. Tuesday, copy. Chris Cassidy is wearing his rally hat.
Cassidy, who will become the 500th human in space, is making his first space flight today. He was a U.S. Navy SEAL for 10 years, and he's Mission Specialist 1 on this flight. I'm sorry, I can take your He's a commander of the U.S. Navy, commander in the U.S. Navy. copies will work that by the clock. He'll be performing spacewalks on flight A8, 10, and 13. OVCC, OTC. Right, sir. Phase two terminated, phase one in effect. Copy that. I can give you uh... Oh, heck. I thought he was going in. All right. MS3 is aboard. Copy that. 1850. And Tom Marshburn, MS-3, Mission Specialist 3, is aboard Endeavour as we hear that our Phase 2 lightning warning has been downgraded to Phase 1 for Launch Pad 39 and actually for all of the Kennedy Space Center area. However, we still are watching weather. This uh, storm cell that has been migrating off to the west, it's, it's in our northwest quadrant, and there has been some growth back to the east from that cell. So we'll keep an eye on it. Tom Marshburn is about to climb into his seat in the mid-deck. Seat number five on the far left side. And a big wave from Chris Cassidy wearing his rally cap in hopes that that will change our luck. In about 10 minutes... Chief Astronaut Steve Lindsay will be boarding a T-38 jet to uh, aid in weather reconnaissance today. And there is a cell off to the northeast of the Kennedy Space Center that is blowing anvil clouds back in the direction of Kennedy. And he will be taking a look at that for us, among other areas of concern. And later on, he'll uh, land at the shuttle landing facility and board a shuttle training aircraft to fly approaches to the two ends of the shuttle runway to advise the uh, flight crew on which direction may be best. Should it be necessary to perform a return to launch site of work? Copy. In the foreground, Dave Wolf is talking to members of the closeout crew. Same to say, 648 complete. Heavy. And CGSS OTC. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Step six four nine, please. Copy. 